total non-confidence vote in Rachel Notley's policies. Uh, uh, what's really happening there is one of the largest balance sheets in the energy industry in the world is giving a non-confidence vote to the policies inherent today in Alberta. They're going to take that capital, take it out of Canada, redeploy it somewhere else where the government cares about energy, wants to have an energy policy that's a growth mandate. That's not Rachel Notley. She's actually, while we're leaving, watching $5 billion plus dollars leave right now, she's down in Texas with Justin Trudeau teaching them about carbon taxes. Let me tell you, Texans don't like carbon taxes. They're going to ride her out of town. And she's telling investors down there not to bring their money to Alberta. She is almost on the edge of financial malfeasance. I'm doing everything in my power to get rid of her because I do not want to work with her when I become prime minister. She is not good for a pro-growth, pro-job environment at all. I've got to get better management. This province is one of the two big pistons of growth in Canada. Here in Ontario and manufacturing, Alberta is completely broken under her leadership. She's a toxic cocktail of mediocrity and incompetence. Poisonous. Since you're running uh, for the uh, federal leadership and your ultimate uh, opponent is going to be Justin Trudeau, he's down there too, speaking to that same world's largest energy conference, talking about climate leadership. Uh, is that going to fall in deaf ears? Uh, not only that, it scares away more capital. I mean, this is why it's so important that in 2019, we don't have an election, we have an exorcism. We have to cast out Trudeau, all of his policies that are anti-Canada, anti-jobs, anti-growth, anti-energy. He is destroying our economy, taking us into a bankruptcy, basically. He's told Canadians that over the next 38 years, he anticipates we'll run deficits for 38 years in a row, ending up 1.5 trillion deficit. I've got kids, I've got a 20-year-old son and a 24-year-old daughter. Not a chance in hell I'm gonna let him do that. I'm gonna get rid of that guy for us. He is a disaster. And if I could also ask you about the structural impact on Alberta's energy industry. This is a big player. It's pulling out of our number one resource, not conventional right. oil, but oil sands. And just a couple of weeks ago, Exxon wrote off its reserves to zero. Right. So what does that say about the long-term prospects for oil sands development in the province of Alberta? The first thing that has to happen is it should wake up every Albertan that's going to make a decision in 24 months about Rachel Notley and make sure that she never gets another mandate. Whatever her calling in life is, it is not running an energy-rich province. She has to go. Trudeau's another disaster. He doesn't understand it. I'm going to take care of that myself in 2019 because we're going to build the Conservative Party back to a majority mandate. The men and women in the Conservative Party, in the caucus, the MPs there understand the importance of Alberta. They want this place to be where Shell wants to bring its money, not take it out. Where Exxon wants to and Mobile and every other investor, we should make this the place that they want to bring their money. We should have our policies in sync. I'm so surprised that when Trudeau looked at the election in the United States and saw Trump who had advertised lower corporate taxes, lower personal taxes, a reduction in any discussion about green tax of any kind around pricing carbon, he's made the U.S. much more competitive. So all the money is going there, particularly into Texas, and not into Alberta. Because Dustin Trudeau has never run a business, has no compassion for entrepreneurs here in Alberta. He is a walking disaster, and we've got to get rid of him. And if you look at the economic environment in Alberta, we're already on our knees because oil prices are low. Today, they, it fell under $49 a barrel for the, on the conventional right. side, but there's also an impact on oil sands. I mean, we're getting kicked in the you know where while we're basically down and out. How, how do you, you know, extrapolate how that's going to affect the psychology in this province? Well, first of all, we've got to take it to the people. What I've told Albertans, and I've been here now for my second day, here's my promise. The first thing we've got to do is get the corporate tax rates, the royalty rates, and the carbon tax eliminated so we're competing with the U.S., so we can attract capital and people like Shell don't want to leave. Now, if for some freak of nature, Rachel Notley was still running this place when I became Prime Minister, here's what I'll do for you. I will simply call her up on the phone and say, if you take a single dollar of carbon tax out of any company in Alberta, I will deduct it from your transfer payments. I will go to war on you on this. And by the way, I have the ability to do that as Prime Minister. If she gets in my way of growing jobs here or getting capital back into Alberta, I'll be extremely punitive. Let me send that signal right now. Do you think there's still a, 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 an upside to economic development and job growth in this province? 
Yes, the whole idea is when you have a downturn in the commodity prices we've seen, you give incentives for sovereign capital to come back. Rachel Notley gave a speech almost two years ago in New York, and she decimated any interest in this province from foreign capital. She told them, I'm increasing corporate taxes when the price of oil is going down. I'm raising or even destabilizing royalty rates. I don't know what they're going to be, and I have no idea what I'm going to put in place on policy and new development. Capital went ev everywhere else, just like Shell is doing today. She doesn't understand her responsibility to the Albertan people and all of the things we enjoy in this country as a result of the powerhouse Alberta used to be. You can time the disaster that happened to Alberta. It used to be the envy of North America. Low taxes, massive gains in what we were doing with entrepreneurs in energy. And then all of a sudden, this dark malaise, this nightmare called Rachel Notley arrived here. I give 100% of the blame on her because she doesn't know how to work with a low price on the commodity. She'd be incentivizing people to bring money here. Capital cost allowance acceleration, reduction in royalty rates, reducing corporate taxes. That's how you do it. She has no idea. If she had worked for me in one of my companies, I would have fired her a long, long time ago.